I'm Heidi Hewitt, AutoCAD Technical Marketing Manager with David Cohen, author and CAD consultant. David, if you are working in AutoCAD, you've got all these materials that come with AutoCAD for visualization, mm -hmm. um, but maybe there's a material that you want to create that's not even like anything in there. How would you go about that? Well, and this one comes up all the time. I mean, I'm an architect by profession, and when we would start doing the interiors on our projects, we would set up a, a material board. We'd actually have the physical samples of the material that we were going to use. This is what people oftentimes want to do. There's two ways that you can get that material into AutoCAD, but ultimately you're either going to take a photograph of it or you're going to scan it on some kind of a flatbed scanner. So the question becomes, how do I take that material and make sure it will work as a material in AutoCAD? In previous versions of AutoCAD, this was a little bit difficult because you had to be very precise about the way you captured that material. What I used to tell people is you'd first mirror it about one axis and then take the copy and mirror them both about the other axis so you make sure the material will tile. Well, first of all, I don't have to worry about that in AutoCAD anymore because one of the ways that I can modify the mapping of a material is to tell AutoCAD to do that automatically, basically mirror that snippet that I've created. But let me show you what I can do because what you can see is I can actually just take a video, take my digital camera and I'll take a photograph of the actual tile floor. I'll bring that tile floor into my paint program and I'll clip out just a small piece, one repetition of that tile. I'll cut and paste that into its own image and I'll save that as a separate JPEG file, for example. So we'll save that out as a JPEG. And then I can open that up inside of AutoCAD and we'll simply use the, the tools inside of AutoCAD to create a material. So here we are back inside of AutoCAD and I'm going to create a new material. And I'll call this material my tile. So I've created a new material and now for my diffuse map I'm going to go out and find that tile that I just created. We'll bring that tile in, that JPEG file, and then I will adjust the mapping of that file because I already know exactly how big it is. So in the, in the material scaling and tiling, I'm going to select mirror, so I make sure that AutoCAD is automatically doing this flipping and mirroring, and we'll set it to feet, because I know that this is exactly 0.5 feet. It's a six inch tile. Now that I've created that, I'm simply going to attach that to my floor, and there's my floor tile. Wow. So Just that's, that's that the tile in my kitchen floor, that quickly. And we can zoom in on it, and that's exactly what that tile looks like. So it's really easy to create your own material inside of AutoCAD. Great. That's a great procedure that you just took us through. Thanks, David. You're welcome.